Hello good people, this is Jason Irvin, aka The Janitor, here bringing a video that I've promised to put out for a little while, and it basically goes into my server closet. When people come in to my house or to the studio, the first thing they usually say is, what in God's name do you have all of this equipment for? So obviously in my server rack, I have um, you know, HP server, half rack, um, I have a Dell R710, uh, was a DL180 with a MSA underneath it. So what does that mean? That means I have about two servers and an extension module that's at the bottom uh, giving me a little bit over, what is it? Almost 80 terabytes worth of storage, something like that. Um, but all of that does have a functionality. It's just not here to be pretty or just for fun. It took a lot of time to set up, but in this 10 minutes, what I want to do is show you how I secure my entire network. And that is using a fantastic product that I've been using since about 2000. That product is uh, Untangle. Untangle is a router system that will change the way that you are protecting your environment, the way you're protecting your kids, the way you're looking at traffic coming in and out of your network, and really securing everything that you're doing um, in your home environment. It is fantastic, and it's something that I recommend that you guys uh, implement and start playing around with. I wanna show you a few of the quick features of it. A lot of it is just, if you just turn it on, uh, so a lot of the features will just work out of the box and over time you'll end up tweaking those features to exactly what you need them to be. That's kind of a quick uh, overview of what we're going to be talking about today. I want to get right into the keys, show you how it is. Uh, we have about like, 10 minutes and to be able to explain this, get you interested and if anybody wants more information about the different tabs and the different setups, how I configured it specifically, Write me up in the comment section and I will reply with either a video or if it's something simple, I can just talk back to you that way in the comment section. That'll be great. So the first thing you wanna do is go to untangled.com and actually here it says get untangled. Where it says get untangled, you're gonna go ahead and click on buy online. And once you click on buy online, it's gonna bring you to the get ng firewall. And what I want you to do is if this is for home, <laughs> then I want you to change NG Firewall Complete to NG Firewall Home Pro. And once you get here, it's going to show you that you have a one year subscription for $50. So for that $50, I don't know if that sounds like a lot, but that $50 a year will more than enough pay for yourself when you're talking about securing your environment and making sure that you know what's coming in and also what's going out of uh, your, your network, uh, protecting your kids, seeing what your kids are doing when they're supposed to be on there doing their homework and they're doing other things. <laughs> so Untangle allows you to do uh, just that and uh, really make those modifications to um, the system, the network, each individual device that's in your network, it is more than what you could, uh, more than what you could ask for and that $50 is really a small price to pay. So let's go into exactly what does that give you for that $50. So we're gonna jump right into my actual um, router setup here. And this is all internal, so you guys can't reach this for some of you looking at my looking at my router. And also I'm gonna take out all the IP addresses that are here. But right up front, you see a dashboard. This dashboard shows you um, a, a great overview of what is actually going on on your network live. So as you can see, I, I'm able to, I have two um, incoming uh, WAN connections. So I explain why I have these later. And I have each one of my networks segmented out and um, different things happen in each network so that I can protect my internal network. I have a DMZ, I have the guest network so that when uh, you have friends and family that come by, you put them on that network, it separates them from the rest of your environment. If they have viruses or, or issue, it just keeps them enclosed in one spot. I also have a, a, a actual network called Hacksville and you can imagine what happens in that network. Uh, it's a good testing environment so that I don't uh, infect any of my internal or important systems that are on my network. Um, you have a, a good field here that shows top categories by request. 
you can see exactly what you usually, you know, what you usual usually hit. So if you see stuff like uh, if you have a teenager in the house and this pie starts opening up to large porn sites, that actually happened in my house. If it actually starts going to that, you can see what's going on and actually make some modifications in your house to make sure that those things aren't being uh, bypassed or looked at. Uh, I can look and see where my uh, where my systems are connecting to, and if I see stuff, you know, going to Russia or somewhere where it shouldn't be going, that's that's a definite red flag that you need to start looking deeper into those packets or where they're going. Um, it shows me all of the systems that are in the house that are connecting um, the most and what they're doing the most. Um, all my web events, my interface usage, and this all can be customized to view exactly how you want it to be seen. So all this stuff is, is great, um, and that's just the dashboard, just showing you a quick overview of what's happening uh, in your network. Now, the, the money, where you're paying, what you're paying for are these apps. And these apps are actual, like think of them as racks on a server that you can control and modify and, and customize to your exact liking and needs. Now, when we get in here, I'm not gonna go down every one of them, I'll give a quick, quick, brief synopsis as to what they are. And then, um, you know, maybe later for later videos, if you wanna know exactly how I have my mine configured, I'll go into that and, and let you know how it's going. But in 10 minutes, I wanna get this all in there and hit those key points. So, our web filter, our web filter is exactly what you think it is we can go in we can say what pages we want what pages we don't want on there um, the actual all the traffic that's going back and forth in the network that's all seen here in that web filter for virus blocker it quickly scans and this is very helpful when you have a SSL inspector we'll talk about this if you have a document that's coming in to your, to your network something you're downloading the actual router will look at the document do a, a brief scan, it uses Bitdefender's um, backend database to look for viruses. So that gives you kind of like a first line of defense before it actually gets onto your system. I'm sure you have AV on each one of your boxes. So that virus blocker does that. I actually have an email a server that I've set up here in my environment. And with that, any spam that comes in that, that meets my rule set, it actually gets caught by my router and taken out. And I can go back and look at it and say, okay, maybe that wasn't spam, but um, it actually gets blocked off from my router setting before it even reaches my email server, which is just great. The same thing for a fish blocker. Phishing is you know, really big. There's a malicious actor that's bringing, that sends you a link, says, hey, click on this. Well, my router will pick up most of those and just decline those uh, link, those email messages for me coming into my environment which is just great. Web cache speeds up all of your um, web, uh, web browsing because it will save you know, current state of the website within the router and it's able to feed that to your clients, um, your home users, your wife, your kids, and yourself, phones, all that stuff. It feeds it to you a lot faster because it's actually cached on your router. Um, uh, bandwidth control, if you have your kids that play a lot of video games <laughs> and you want to have your, uh, let's say your Netflix have priority over their video games, you can set that up right here in that bandwidth control. One of my favorite, um, my favorite tools or actual applications that's here is SSL Inspector. And now it is also the cause of a lot of my headaches, but SSL Inspector allows for uh, uh, distant in, so let's say like YouTube or uh, Dropbox, anywhere that you're going to actually negotiate with your router only. And then your router looks at the packet, everything that's happening with between the conversation between you know the actual person that's in the network, so that would be you, or your kids, and the website. And it will look at all the information, says, okay, everything's good. Then it packages it back up and then gives it to your client. So this, that does your kids or yourself. I keep saying client. I don't want you to get confused with what a client or a server is, but in this case, we're talking about the web browsing experience between your kids and your, um, you know, and your system. Now, 
it is awesome because